All right, people. Here we go. Fun 101.3. Farewell to Fun Week is just about to wrap up. Uh, I guess before we go any further, real quick, we're going to need these. <laughs> Let's pass out the tissues. Pass them around. Here you go. Do you need one? Thank you. I did my crying last night, but I should be all right. I want to remind everybody that if you hear any sniffles from me, it's allergy season. Oh, Let's okay. go with it. Um, and also, before we get to our final thoughts and play one last song for you here at the radio station, uh, just this reminder one more time of what's going to happen here on this frequency. Uh, we will share our final thoughts with you. We're going to play that last song. We're going to play one last official legal identification, and then we are going to go silent at 101.3 FM for a number of hours and uh, possibly sometime tomorrow. My understanding is that the new owners of the radio station will take over with a brand new format um, for Central Pennsylvania. So uh, that is what you are going to be looking forward to. So again, when you hear silence on the radio station over the next couple of hours, that is intentional. Um, so we'd appreciate it if you, um, you know, don't reach out and tell us because we are aware that that's what's going to happen. Please um, don't message the Facebook page. <laughs> and uh, also, you know, we have been the voices and the faces of the radio station uh, these last couple of years, but there are so many wonderful people that we work with, uh, people, quote unquote, behind the scenes here at the radio station um, who have done phenomenal work. Um, and without them, we would not have been in business. And I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge some of them, and I hope that we don't miss any of the names of the people because many of them are here with us right now. So. Uh, let's start with our general sales manager who has been here since 1982, I believe, Mr. Lauren Good, who has been a phenomenal leader uh, in the community, very loved by advertisers who've done a phenomenal job working with a variety of business clients here at the radio station over the years. Uh, we could have done it without you. Thank you also to uh, our chief engineer, Mr. Ed Monsky, who is also a longtime employee here. Um, and, uh, you know, we've all been in the radio business for a while, and uh, we know engineers sometimes get a bad rap, um, but uh, Ed has been a world-class engineer, and it's been a privilege to work with him over the years. Uh, thank you to Linda Weidman, who is what we refer to as our traffic director, who is in charge of uh, scheduling all of the commercials and uh, does a lot of paperwork here involving our clients. And today is Linda's birthday. And uh, so it's a little bittersweet. She, she got the creepy Keith C. Wright's birthday song earlier. She, she yeah. did get a creepy song, didn't she? Yeah. Um, thank you to somebody who is now officially retired, but for a very long time uh, was an account executive here at the radio station, uh, Ms. Sue Stipe, yeah. who is like a mother figure to a lot of us. And if there are any older single gentlemen listening, um, she's very <laughs> eligible. Uh, if you've ever seen the Golden Girls and you can relate to the character of Blanche, uh, Sue is your lady, and sometime maybe she'll tell the story about how she broke a bed. What? Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm sorry. Final moments. We talk about this wow. stuff. Thank you to somebody who has been like a sister to me here in all of the years, uh, Casey Ober, um, who has been a rock for all of us. Um, anything we've ever needed, uh, she has been there to do it for us, and we wouldn't be where we are without her. She has just been our sanity over the years, and we really do appreciate that. Thank you to Darlene Black, one of our account executives, and Darlene's been here uh, since right before Sue retired, and uh, continue to work with a lot of the advertisers who Sue had worked with in previous years. And Darlene has got so much pep, and I know that she's got um, continued success in her future as well, and we have really enjoyed our time working with you. One of the sweetest people you would ever want to meet. So thank you to Darlene. To our business manager, Jennifer Garcia, um, who has always had a smile on her face, has always been such a ray of sunshine uh, for this radio station. And uh, thank you for making sure that we've been paid over the years to keep the lights on. Um, <laughs> as we've said over and over again, it's not a lot of money, but for some reason uh, we were able to survive on it. So thank you for making sure of that. And thank you for becoming a wonderful friend. She makes a mean mixed drink, and I can't wait to have the next one over at the gathering that I'm going to invite myself to. Uh, and, and you're all welcome, too. I'm just going to go ahead and say that on her behalf. Um, 
a lot of other people too that I want to uh, acknowledge and thank Mr. Tom Richards who uh, as you heard earlier has been with this company for a very long period of time so thank you to Tom and everybody else I mean I could go on and on and on there are so many people who have touched our lives but we want to get to our final thoughts here and share those with you and Michelle is going to go first yeah and I want to thank Fran Baldwin is here representing the Baldwin family. Of course, all of us are here because of Bill Baldwin. So thank you very much. Um, I want to say thank you to all the listeners. And I want you to be happy. I'm happy. Super thankful to have had this opportunity to all say goodbye and go through this together. So I was holding it together the entire time until I turned around and saw Fran. So, <laughs> wow. Um, Bill, uh, He's the reason we're all here. So uh, well, I really thought I was going to keep it together. I can't believe I'm not keeping it together. But anyway, um, thank you, everybody. Uh, the listeners have been amazing over the years. Michelle, I love you. Um, you're my best friend in the world. And uh, let's do coffee every week, can we? <laughs> love you. This, uh, I just want to say thank you to all the listeners. You three, Dennis, Michelle, Ronnie, especially. Um, I cried last night on air, so I don't need to cry again on air. But uh, everybody out there, thank you for listening over the seven years that I've been here. It's been amazing. Um, I was good at keeping it together until last night when I opened up my Instagram page. And I did share this on my Facebook page. Uh, the folks at Lancaster County Community Foundation um, dedicated yesterday to me. Uh, and uh, they used the words local legend. And uh, I kind of lost it. Um, and I'm not sure if it was that I lost it particularly because people thought that highly of me and um, all that I've done here in the community, which was my honor to do that, by the way, um, or if it was because I'm now freaking old, and that's why. Yeah. So there was a moment that I had to look in the mirror, and I'm like, great hairs be damned. But, um, you know, this has been an incredible experience for me. This has been uh, a ride. We've had ups and downs here. There's no doubt about that. We've had some really high ups and we've had some very low downs, but through it all, we have stuck together. We've done this as a team. Um, I love each and every one of you. I'm thankful that you've all come into my lives. Um, this has been 15 years of life. Uh, none of us know what tomorrow holds, and that's true for everybody in this room. That's true for everybody listening right now. The most important thing is that you savor each and every day that you're able to be on this earth. You take advantage of that. You be kind to each other. You love each other. You respect each other. And you keep doing you, most importantly. If you have a chance to live your dream, if you have a chance to dream and follow your dream, please do that. We've had a chance to do that. We've lived a dream that we've had in most of our instances uh, since we were very young. We were fortunate to do it for a wonderful company and wonderful people. It has been our privilege, it's been our pleasure to entertain you, to inform you all of these years. And we could not have gotten through this without all of you and your support. And in this very last moment, I just want to say thank you immensely from the bottom of my heart. And I know everybody else shares that very same sentiment here in this room. And we are going to go on and do life, and God only knows where that's going to lead us, but we are never going to look back and regret what we have done here and we are so appreciative of this final time with you and with that ladies and gentlemen thank you so much you have been wonderful take care and we will see you around at some point all right so they just left i need to um turn us down here so all right turn down all right come on let's go let's go we need to turn this down so that we don't get a uh, copyright claim so yeah, this pretty much does it for WROZ. Pretty much does it for WROZ. Oh, I ha uh oh, I still have music going on. Uh oh, oh no. So, pretty much what I got to say now, WROZ is pretty much finished and they are gone. Uh, they are playing the song, but then after that, as you heard, um, they actually will be doing their station ID and then they will be going to silent and then who knows how long it's going to take for this uh, new station to come on so I think uh, yeah so my final words to WROZ 
pretty much is, uh, yeah, uh, you guys have been great. You've played the best music, 80s, 90s, 2K, and today. Uh, you've done the, uh, the Christmas, uh, in July thing. You've done the Christmas official spirit where you play Christmas music 24-7. So, yeah. So, pretty much that will do it for WROZ's sign-off. And I am going to surely miss these guys. I will so miss these guys. They have been great. They have been great at their music. So, yeah. Pretty much. That concludes WROZ. This concludes WROZ. Trying to see if you guys can see the alarm clock, except you probably can't. But there's WROZ's frequency, if you can see it. So, yep. Uh, so, pretty much this frequency is going to be no more. So I'm going to turn up the music just a little because they're going to do their station ID here soon. In just a moment. And uh, we pretty much are just going to say a farewell to them. As they will be doing their station ID in a second. So, yep, yeah, here we go. And, uh, yeah. So we will pretty much just wait. Hopefully, they'll do their ID here. And uh, we'll get to hear it, and then uh, the moment of silence comes in. It'll be the longest moment of silence ever, because who knows how long this new station will be coming in. So again, thank you, WROZ and everybody, the producers and everybody there, for keeping us our music, uh, for keeping us informed of music. I've enjoyed your music, your laughs, your chats, your whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's what's, uh, that's, uh, pretty much all I have to say. It's pretty much a huge thank you to all of you guys. So, pretty much in just a moment, we'll have the station ID. In just a moment, here. Here we go. And this is what we get. So anyway, we'll turn that down here. All right, people, that's what we get now for WROZ. So now we have static on WROZ. And we will now go to, I'm going to go to 1047. So, like I said, that pretty much concludes it. And uh, yeah, that'll pretty much conclude it. Let's go to 99.9, since so that's how I have it. Now I'll also put the 300 on 99. So yep, that concludes it. But anyway, there was WROZ's sign-off. And that will pretty much do it for WROZ. They are now done. So anyway, so long and farewell WROZ. And that will pretty much be it. And yes, there will be an update once um, the new station gets in. And I will pretty much do an update on what they will be. But anyway, that will pretty much be it for this video. Once again, WROZ. You will be missed.